Hello and welcome back to Aquarium for iOS. I'm going to be diving in here to tank 4-3. We will be testing out Amp, the electric eel. I'll take Stinky, the snail, into the tank here as well. And what would be our third pet here? I'm thinking maybe one to help us deal with alien attacks. Probably Wadsworth. Probably going to go with Wadsworth. All right, let's dive in. Continuing on with tank four here, in the last video we talked about Amp and what Amp can do for us. He's gonna charge up from time to time and we can zap all of our guppies in the tank and they will turn into diamonds, those blue diamonds that drop. And I'm not sure how much they're worth, I think they're around 200 in value for us, 200 coins for us. And so he'll zap all of our guppies and that really helps with population control, especially in these tanks that have a whole lot of guppies in play at once with all the breeders that are constantly making more guppies. One uh, differentiating factor with the iOS aquarium here versus the desktop version is that it seems like a lot of the color scheme in this one is blue, so things like Wadsworth, Amp, and the breeders all kind of blend in a little bit. And it can be hard to see when there's a whole lot of stuff in the tank, what's all going on. All right, so we have our breeder produced our first guppy here. We're just feeding them and going along. Eventually in tank four here, we'll have another enemy, another new enemy, and another alien attacking our tank that is one of the hardest to deal with. It's like a snake that has two heads and we have to actually defeat both heads. And that's not what we had in this situation, but in this situation we did have two enemies. Uh, we had the, um, and, and they did get our breeder there because they don't go into Wadsworth for protection but we did make enough right here to to purchase another breeder once our aliens go away but these aliens in the final tank here get pretty hard to deal with so let's see how that can be a challenge throwing two aliens in the tank with this octopus creature is makes it super complex super hard to deal with just because that's a really tough alien and including that along with with another one is just uh making our life super hard here So now we're pretty much just looking for one of our guppies to grow to full size so we can unlock some more features here. And there's Amp coming along and charging up electrically. Let's um, Eventually he'll just go off automatically, but we can actually click on him to have him go off early. So if I click on him a few times here, he should... I'm not sure if he zaps guppies at the medium size. He does, yeah. Um, and it looks like he didn't get my entire population. He just got one there. But uh, that did give me a $200 benefit there. And maybe I shouldn't have pulled the trigger on that immediately since that guppy may have been the one to grow to full size to unlock some more features for me. I just wanted to demonstrate how AMP works and kind of figuring, figure them out a little bit for myself as well. We could probably, well, I was going to say we could probably afford another breeder here, but I really do want to upgrade my food before purchasing another breeder. We do have enemies approaching again. Let's see, we do have the two here. Let's try and keep them away from that breeder, if I can here. Keep them away from the breeder, just because they're gonna make my life super difficult in this level. And going at that breeder is just making it even harder. Um, getting rid of our, our breeders from being able to get maximum size there. The breeder is oblivious to the fact that there are death aliens in the tank or aliens that will cause them death and just will meander on into them but uh, yeah this breeder has no fear just going right in to stare down that alien and move him away and of course is going to chase him down not doing too much not helping out too much there let's get get amp out of the tank here or this this alien out of the tank here He's been gaining a lot of health because I've been having to zap him to avoid the breeder, uh, which means he's going to linger around here in the tank for a little bit longer. Get out of here quick. All right. There we go. Finally, a full-size fish. We can afford some upgrades here. 
Let's purchase another breeder and get our little economy here going. Alright, probably grab another breeder here. We could also probably upgrade our food, let me do that. Alright, we can afford another breeder here. And in a situation like this, Amp can help out a lot with uh, getting rid of some of these guppies and uh, giving me some cash, allowing me to cash in on my guppy population. So the next time Amp goes off here, we will, um, which is right now, we'll probably cash in and, and uh, make him go off here and get rid of a lot of our guppies. Let him uh, charge up a little bit more. You can actually tap Amp like I did previously in order to make him go um, prematurely here. Let me, these aliens are gonna get my fish. Oh, this is the feed feeder one. Let me, let me just feed him there. I'm trying to get all those, um, I was expecting the other two to hop into the tank here, but it looks like just the feeder alien there. So uh, might as well purchase some of the uh, carnivores here. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded my food to full just so that the carnivores have more food for longer, but that just means I have to purchase some more breeders. And get them grown to produce consistent carnivore food. And like I had done previously, I'm going to go for the Ultravore economy here in the tank with all my fish pretty much being Ultravores and going for those treasure chests um, that Ultravores drop. So I'm going to look to move up to that level as fast as possible. Uh, probably going to be at least one more alien attack before that happens. So yeah, let me purchase another one of these, a couple more breeders an upgrade to the amount of food I can distribute and we have an enemy approaching here I don't have enough coin yet to upgrade but it's this easier alien to deal with so it's no big deal I'm glad the uh, the food alien drops into this tank he's super easy to deal with compared to the octopus and another alien friend along with him uh, that one's super complicated to deal with that setup Purchase a couple more carnivores and try and earn our way up to 10,000 to afford an ultravore. Once we can get one ultravore in the tank, they pretty much can pay for everything else we need. They they amp their way up really quick to more ultravores and or amp. They can ramp us up to uh, be able to afford more ultravores there. And amp helps us get this little economic boost by killing all of our guppies and making sure we can. Uh, get a little bit of an economic boost there. It boosted us up to about 6,000 coins. And now we are just waiting for um, about 10,000, about 2,000 more coins we need. And it seems like it's coming pretty close to another alien attack, so maybe I will not purchase a an Ultravore before this next alien attack here. We'll see. There's another alien attack here. We'll see who's in the tank. If it's the feeder, hopefully. Yes, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Get him out of the tank here and then purchase our first Ultravore. And now that we have our first Ultravore, they're pretty much going to pay for themselves. And we can get our economy in the tank here based on these Ultravores. Alright, let's earn our way up to get some more Ultravores. Uh, about halfway there. One more treasure chest should do it from the Ultravore. And the Ultravore uh, drops the treasure chest that's worth 2,000 each, 2,000 coins each. Um, and now that we have two Ultravores, we'll get there in half the time that we did previously. Let's work our way back up to afford another Ultravore here. Actually, let's feed this Ultravore. We want to make sure our Ultravores don't die. Super important, and we also now want to be able to afford 
some more accommodations for getting rid of aliens. Some more advanced weaponry for getting rid of aliens. Alright, so now we have 20,000. Let's get a couple of those guys, a couple of these guys. And we have an enemy approaching. Upgrade our weapon a little bit in case it's the octopus combo. Yep. So they took down one of our ultra wars. But being able to get them out of the tank really quick is going to help out a lot in the long run. So yeah, they did take down one of my Ultravores, which is sad, but with two Ultravores in the tank now, we'll be able to recover pretty quickly. There's another Ultravore. Purchase some food for the Ultravores. They're probably getting pretty hungry. Then we still have some breeders in the tank here. Eventually they'll start to die off. Um, as alien attacks come and go, and I may forget to feed them from time to time. Um, focusing on collecting Ultravore chests. Alright, another Ultravore. Food for the Ultravores. And just try and get as many Ultravores in the tank here as I can. Thousand, ten thousand, two thousand, give them some food. And enemy approaching should happen again here pretty soon. There we go. You begin to be able to time it a little bit. Yep, we got the two two friends in the tank here, two of our the the trouble twins back in the tank here, but being able to upgrade the weapon is a huge thing because it, it allows us to get them out of the tank as fast as possible, which is super important when protecting our high-paying Ultravore assets. And now we should be able to work our way up to the $50,000 mark pretty quickly with all these Ultravores here in the tank. Let's invest in a few more of them, a bunch of food for them, and even some treasure chests here are going to waste. Um, showing just how much uh, we have. And there's Amp going off again. I forgot to click on Amp there, so he just goes off eventually anyway. Um, and that clears up our tank a little bit. Get some more Ultra 4 food in the tank. And now we are earning like crazy. It almost becomes like a game like Cookie Clicker when you hit a tank that's so heavily populated. Just as many of these as we can. We have enemy approaching. Let's max out our weapon here. I think it might be the food one. It's not. Yeah, they're going to wreak havoc here. When they spawn on separate sides of the tank, it is very, very, very problematic. Um, just because you can't really deal with both of them at the same time. We do have 100,000 here, so maybe I won't purchase any more Ultra Wars and I'll just work my way up to 150,000. Let's see if that's going to work for me. I think it will. I'm already at 120. Let's purchase two eggshells and work our way up to 150,000. 50,000 once more. Yeah, we're going to get there pretty quick, so I'm not going to purchase any more Ultra Wars here. Just go ahead and go for the 50,000. And we have 50,000, so let's complete the level. Alright, Gash the Shark. Gash is going to viciously attack aliens, but will snack on your guppies from time to time. So he's going to act like a carnivore, but instead of dropping diamonds, he will do heavy damage to our enemies, uh, the aliens that come into the tank. Very similar to how Itchy operates, uh, just a lot more damage, so Gash is a, a lot more valuable most of the time. And yeah, so I'll probably wrap it up here. This has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.